Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for the foreign exchange market for Wednesday, uh, November 4th, 2020. And if you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos. You're welcome to uh, join our uh, signal service on Patreon. Uh, 23 uh, traders are already joined, have already joined, and uh, it is working perfectly. Uh, and you will also get access to our full technical analysis for the commodities market. So this was a quite interesting day. So the main reason here is that the uh, US dollar index depreciated significantly. And of course, that had an enormous effect on uh, the US dollar and the Great British pound despair. If you look at the chart, we can see that we we were up around, well, 1.26%. Gave back a little bit while we were way past the 50 moving average. We are still pulling back, but as long as we are above these 50, these moving averages, this will most likely go higher. Well, it also depends on whether or not the, uh, the US dollar depreciates more. Um, that is to be seen. It is expected, but it, everything can happen. Technical gainers for this pair are looking very promising. Both the stochastic, MACD, RSI, CCI, everything is basically pointed to higher, uh, higher levels. So we have to take out these highs before we go to these highs. No interest in basically shorting this in the moment. This is going to go higher when you basically look at these technical indicators. So US dollar yen, we we ran into um, resistance yesterday and today we broke down, pulled back a little bit, but we are most likely going down towards this trend line here, which is will be around this area here at 103.33600. So that is where we're going. We haven't been to um, we haven't tested this line for quite some time. This is all the way back to September when the last time we tested it, but it is just a matter of time. Break below this and then we go higher. Only problem is that we are almost oversold, so we may stick around here for quite a few, a few days, but we are going to test these lows. So Euro, US dollar, we rallied significantly, found resistance at the 50 or the 100 moving average here at 11.74 and then pull back. Uh, so at this point, I think that we are going to go higher. Technical indicators for, for this uh, currency pair are very bullish. The stochastic, the uh, MACD, the RSI, CCI, everything is pointing to higher levels. So if you break the 50 moving average, that opens the door to uh, these highs around there, 1183, uh, and then to this high of 1188. Uh, after that, we go to the very highs and that will be significant resistance. No interest is basically shorting this at, the, at this point because of these indicators. They have to turn around in order to basically to, um, to short this. But even though if this falls, then we'll find major um, support right here, around there, and then also down here. If you look at the Aussie dollar, US dollar, this absolutely exploded to the upside. I should have held my trade. I entered um, around here and then I I basically quit because I thought that we were going to go significantly lower, but it did turn around as I did expect it to do. We found resistance here at the 50 moving average, pulled back a little bit, but these technical indicators are very, very, very bullish at this point. We may fall back a little bit, but then it is just a matter of time probably before we break the 50 moving average. If that breaks, then we will go all the way to these highs of 0 0.72 and then to this high of 0 0.73 and then to 0 0.74. No interest in basically shorting this at the moment. This is most likely going to go higher. US dollar cat and yes, we found resistant support right here where we expected to find support if this breaks. That opens a massive drop from this price level, uh, price level here, all the way down to this price level. So this is uh, 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 almost two percent drop um, in the U.S. dollar CAT, and 
Technical indicators are looking very, very bearish at this point. So that may well be. We need to break this level. We need a red candlestick underneath this uh, level here. That opens the door to these levels. And uh, we'll most likely go back to this channel. No interest in basically buying this. This is going to go significantly lower. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to uh, support our channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest video. And you're welcome to join us on Patreon. We have a signal service there and you will get access to our full technical analysis for the commodities market as well. So good luck and thank you very much.